I'm so excited to finally bring this video to life. I have been on this for quite a while. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian and this is the Ridge Hospital Action Video. Finally, this is out here. And I cannot wait to take a look at the other ones that so many people have suggested I take a look at. But seriously, the fun part for me while I was doing my research to get the full story and good clips of this hospital, I stumbled on this very funny clips by a Nigerian top Nollywood actor by name Kemowo. He was saying that he wanted to check into this hospital because he strongly believed that this is not a hospital this is a seven star hotel so he want to check in and he want to make bookings for his international clients so if you think i'm lying let me play the clips for you but let me warn you this clips that i want to play for you contains a political song and this was done many years ago so please don't come for lily i have nothing to do with the politics in my dear ghana Afternoon, officer. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Uh, what is the name of this uh, hotel? It's not a hotel. It's a hospital. Hospital. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. You cannot deceive me. Six, seven, seven star it's hotel. The original hospital. Listen, my um, partners are coming in from America. Okay. And they said I should get a hotel, a seven star hotel, where there are big big men can stay. So I'm bringing you customers. Oh, no. <laughs> you want to deceive me that this, this is not a hotel? Seven star hotel, you are deceiving me. <laughs> okay, so I don't want anyone to think I made that up. Okay, Nkemoho said he wanted to book into the hotel because it's a hotel not a hospital a hospital can be like that see ghana can turn you into a villager the truth is ghana can make you start to ask yourself am i on point because you are coming from a top country that is overly rated so when you come to ghana and you are shocked you'll be like ah, boy your country you have everything Okay, Nkemowo is like looking like a village man in the video. Anyways, that video was a comedy skit done, done many years ago. Okay, who are you going to blame when you have not seen that before? And you honestly have not seen it. Sometimes we Nigerians will tell Ghanaians, we have not seen this. Yeah, people will say it's a lie because you are from Nigeria. Uh, you people have so much <laughs> hey as well so with all of that being said i hope you're subscribed to my channel if you have not kindly hit the subscription button ensure you like this video feel free to share and don't forget to leave your thoughts down at the comment section so now let's go take a look at this incredible beauty seven star hospital <laughs> Let's go take a look at the Ridge Hospital and we will be back. Let's go. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night. As that day goes by, you seem like you're searching in the dark. But when the darkness turns to light, all the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light all the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mission, oh, bala ke da da o de Oh, 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 Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, fine. We are going to talk about the hospital, okay? But let's talk about the beauty of Accra. That is the heart of the city of Accra, Ghana, in West Africa. I live here in Accra and I, <laughs> I'm super proud because sometimes you don't even know what to go around until you go, you just go and you'll be like, ah, now gonna be this. Yeah, that's um, that part of Accra for you, super pretty. But the best thing for me is the greenish environment. You see me, I die for nature. I love nature a lot. Yeah, in case you're saying, but you're wearing makeup, thank you very much. Hmm? Did I bleach my skin? No. I love nature so much and um, Ghana, I wanted to say Accra, but see, and Ghana has that to offer. Accra is not even as greenish as Akosombo and Kwewu is and the Ashanti region. These places are super green. If you're wondering why is this so beautiful, that is Ghana for you. And it got a lot of people surprised. Anytime you come here, you'll be shocked because you already heard that Ghana is one of the hottest countries in Africa. That is not a lie, okay? Especially this time of the year. Accra, Ghana to be precise, can be crazily hot. So that is that about the beauty of the city. Now, let's talk about the hospital itself. I mean, this is a hospital that is designed for every human being, foreigner, citizens, children, men, women. And in this hospital, your financial status is not the reason that you are in this hospital. The only reason you are here is because you are sick and you need medical attention. And this is regardless of your financial status in the society. It's a government-owned hospital, a very affordable one for the everyday people. We don't have to own a job with some top oil companies to be able to assess this. This is made for everyone and everybody. All right, so now that is that. Now let's go inside and take a look at the equipment and I'll be back. Ghana, you are oppressing us. Thank you. Like walking in your room because you know everything that is being done. And then the machine you see there is called OAM. Uh, please, you can turn a little. That. The OAM. This is a three-dimensional three uh, imaging system. So if we are operating on you and there is a problem, we just shift it in, we move it in, it has a way of moving in, and that's the screen over there. We move it in, we image you right on top of this table. We don't have to take you down to be searching for another place to go. We image you right here on this table, and then we see what the problem is, and then we continue. Equally, if you have a spine problem, complex spine surgeries, we do them now. Because when you are operating, you are seeing on that screen and on these screens where you go in exactly. If you are putting in a screw, you are watching it go in. It tells you the diameter, the dimension, and the part of the human body that is going. It tells you, so your level of accuracy is almost 100% because you are watching what you are doing. And uh, it, it helps us to, to do that. And this is the latest generation of microscope by Kazai, the best company in the world. And it was also procured for the purpose of neurosurgical activities. And with this microscope, you are able to see detail of everything that you are doing. Detail. And these are some of the equipment that comes with our navigation system on the tray over here. I must say that so far, since we got this equipment in general, we've been able to perform over 135 surgeries on Ghanaians, adults and pediatrics, I mean, and children, and also some are foreigners and uh, Ghanaians, of course. So it's come handy and um, we've also been able to up our game when it comes to training of personnel. Since I must say that they are only found in uh, developed countries uh, and very few developed countries where uh, these things have been found for state-of-the-art uh, uh, surgical procedures. For the first time, those of you who have, might have seen were able to do brain mapping in Ghana, which is a very complex procedure. It's, a play, it's done in places where you have about 45 neurosurgeons uh, in one hospital. In Ghana, we have about 27 neurosurgeons, the whole the entire country. And yet we are able to do them, uh, to do such things here. Ghana, you are oppressing everybody. 
you are oppressing us you are oppressing us if not so you are supposed to pay some exorbitant amount of money to have this project display on cnn so that people can think you are rich <laughs> I'm not throwing shade on a serious note. I mean, for a country that is not known to be the richest country in Africa, to be like this is even the shocker for people like Nkemowo. I know he was acting, but through the insight, mm? dear Ghana, I'm glad I came and I'm glad I loved you. Even before I got to discover that you have this much wealth within you this is giving okay it is giving the hospitals in advanced countries a vibe thank you very much ghana okay for being like that parents that will give all that they have for the betterment of their children they are parents like that in your neighborhood that don't really have a lot they earn something but it's not much but you see they have you see that their kids are always well kept you see that their kids has the basics these people don't even own slicks of cars they cannot even afford a holiday but when you go close to them you see that their kids are okay their kids are doing amazing their kids are in some of the best schools around the world this is how ghana treats its citizens and this has nothing to do with politics okay for those that already accuse me of promoting the government in power remember that i don't even know the name of the political party that is ruling ghana at the moment and the reason i've not really taken time to know is because i don't know what to do with that information i belong to everybody and i strongly believe in the ability of you my fellow ghanaians <laughs> the ability of you my host country my friends and beautiful people of Ghana to be able to make the best decision that will bring us a better Ghana so I'm not getting into it at all okay so I'm not promoting any political party this is just me loving all everything I'm discovering here on a neutral ground okay hey okay fine see the other part of the hospital that I'd like us to take a look at is the staff quarters okay and a mortuary where dead bodies are kept is even looking like a bank it's looking like a central bank of a country <laughs> somewhere in the world seriously no i'm not talking about nigeria okay but there are countries on head that their central banks looks exactly like this mortuary at this hospital let's go take a look i'll be back <laughs> this is absolutely amazing and ghana is oppressing everyone and this is why in came said hey ah, ah, jesus christ I th let me play it again okay let's let me play it again <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to my boat. So here's your boat. Wow. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you very much. This is great hospital. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Now, everyone would think he's acting. I know he's acting. Okay, he is playing. He's interpreting a role, a script, right? is bringing the character to life but his own character is joining inside because he has not seen that before in his country <laughs> he has not yes he's my brother he has not seen that before we don't have that for the everyday people 
Maybe you see that in some selected banana island in a section of a state in Nigeria that belongs to the super rich. And it's not this big because, yeah, it's just small enough to accommodate the super rich. Hmm. If anybody falls sick, you jack back. Hey, those that want to talk about it, you tell them, leave it, I beg. May they no build hospital, waiting on sign person. They first to be in power, you know, build anything. Leave them. It's our brother, leave them. We forget that by sitting down and allowing people to get away, to get away with indiscipline, to get away with lies, is going to consume everybody around. Ghana, thank you. You are not even loud. You don't want to be the richest country in Africa. You don't want to be known for that. You just want to be you. You just they do your thing. Why? Why? Anyways, you know I love you. Even before I got to discover all of this world within you, I have loved you genuinely. And now I'm getting to know why I love Ghana. Because, see, for me, I don't care what you think about me when you see me out there, my outfits, the clothes that I'm putting on. As long as it's clean, it's not smelling, that's me, I'm good to go. Because I'm going to put in my little money into what is important for me not into what is important to the society and that's exactly what ghana is doing putting the resources to use for the betterment of their country and not even trying to create the impression of the richest country in the world i mean rich while your people are starving i know a mother who would rather use her last card her last money to buy her child a dress I mean, to look, to make her kids look so beautiful and intimidating when you see them. But they cannot pay school fees for their child. They will not even give their child the best food. But they dress them up so that people can see and think. Ghana is doing amazing. I'm not hyping. I'm not even ashamed because I'm in line with my conscience, okay? Um, majority of the times, uh, a lot of the times, people do not know what Ghana has within it. They don't know. You judge Ghana by the past. And that is what I want for me, myself. I want to be judged based on my past. Okay? Because people don't even know. They don't, they don't, they don't, they can't see you coming. They can't see you coming for them to say, okay, you are a threat. Let me find a way to stop her or his from achieving the next. Because they don't even know what I have. They don't even know what you are thinking. <sighs> I am proud of Ghana. I am a Nigerian, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not the fun part is I am not the Nigerian that comes sit down and bad mouth a country. But but low key I'm in possession of their country citizenship card. I'm not the Nigerian. I am a Nigerian that enjoys the living in Ghana as a foreigner, okay? But truth is, this country is amazing and I love everything here. I love. The good in this land is more than the bad. Go to this hospital. A nurse will attend to you when it gets to your turn. He attend to you. Now, if you would like to see a video like this, all you have to do is to make sure you hit the subscription button. Turn on the bell so that when next I drop a video like this, YouTube will notify you. Thank you for watching this one. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.